Okay, YouTube, uh, before we go back out to the shop and I'll show you how I'm mounting the, uh, the solar panels, I want to better illustrate to you things I needed to do before uh, I mount the solar panels. And one of the main things is passing the wire or the two wires through the roof. What I bought is an electrical terminal adapter. It's a one inch. Uh, this is the metal roof and I bought a rubber stopper. The rubber stopper right here I created grooves so the wires can pass through. Not only the wires but the uh, connectors can pass through. Thereby you won't have to take apart your connectors because if you take apart your connectors uh, they won't avoid your warranty. So I kept everything intact, passed that through and right now I got a watertight seal. I'm, it's so watertight I can't even pull this uh, this uh, stopper out. Underneath the electrical adapter I did put a small bead of uh, silicone. That's another thing to keep uh, water out. Uh, on the bottom end or the interior part of the roof I put a rubber washer and an electrical uh, nut right here. Uh, I guess that's it in the nutshell. That's how I pass my wires through. Uh, the reason why uh, I did it that way too is uh, I wanted all my connections inside where I can uh, if I wanted to, I have to climb on top of the roof to disassemble it or, or disconnect it. So I got everything at arm's length. Uh, I guess that's going to be it for now. I'll see you out there at the shop, and I'm going to show you how the uh, everything comes together with the uh, the solar panels. There you go, guys. Take it easy. Keep watching, and thanks. Bye bye. Okay YouTube, I'm back out at the shop now and before I get to show you uh, my panels, I just want to show you a little bit of what I've done as far as I'm roofing the, uh, the shed and I'm showing you with the uh, side walls on it too. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a short side wall and the uh, long roof. I like metal roof in particular because uh, they're so beautiful. And I remember down in the south, people used to make fun of the houses that were uh, tin roof or steel roof. But now they make them so pretty. We're going to go on the other side. And I'm going to show you the long wall or tall wall and the short roof. Okay, let me get the ladder out the way. As I climb up the ladder. I'm going to show you how I mounted the uh, the solar panels. This one is on a low profile. I got it uh, hooked to four threaded rods bolted to the uh, frame of the solar panel. And I got bolts to lock it in place at that particular uh, uh, profile. Here on this uh, panel, just showing you how you can manip manipulate it or uh, manually raise and lower the uh, panel to suit your own needs or to get more sunlight, say, like in the winter time. Okay, here is the uh, 12 inch threaded rods. You can lock them in place at that angle too if you want to. Only reason why I'm not getting a bigger angle, uh, uh, a deeper angle, is because of the, the length of the uh, threaded rods. If I had another four or five inches, I can get a better tilt on the, uh, on the solar panel. Okay, YouTubers, here's another update on the update of the robber stop, stopper. I made one more uh, little modification on it. What I did is, uh, after I made my grooves here, 
I drilled a hole and put a washer on the bottom and the top of it so I have a compression fitting instead of uh, pushing this uh, stopper all the way down through here and hoping it'll hold. So uh, that's my update for you and uh, hope to see you around.